Good morning, everybody from Shakota, Oklahoma, and we hope you are having a wonderful day wherever you are and whatever time it might be that you're watching. Just want to thank you so much for joining. You know, I want to also thank you for your support that you give us. Those of you on VIP, we thank you for your, your support monthly in a, in a tangible and financial way. We really appreciate that. That's what helps us, um, gives us hope that we can still continue to put up, take the time to put up content for you. And we also want to thank all of you who like and share and comment and listen to our videos on Facebook and YouTube. You know, we're playing a music that really is not that popular. We're playing it in a, in a way that's really not that popular. What we do is never going to get us rich or famous. And we're good with that. In fact, I, I wouldn't want that either. And the whole family feels the same way. It's, that's not what we want. We're doing something that we believe God has given us to do. And I want to thank you for taking the road less chosen in regards to listening to our music, following along on these uh, morning song and Bible readings. You know, the Lord said that straight is the path that leads to destruction, but narrow is the way that leads to life. And it's kind of a narrow way that we've chosen, we believe. Um, it's, it's just, and I'm thankful to the Lord because, you know, we could have easily gone a different route but by God's grace, by his mercy, he has caused all of us to, uh, to find this road that hopefully will bring blessing to other people and glory to him and his kingdom. And so I want to thank you so much. Could have easily been listening to the Taylor Swift album or, or whatever. I shouldn't, I shouldn't even mention names. I'm sorry about that. Um, I don't mind her, <laughs> but you're, you're listening to something that's really not that popular in terms of popular music. And so thank you. So I was out earlier on a, on a walk to check the hay and check the cattle and I couldn't help but notice the sunrise and it's just so beautiful out this morning. So this song came to mind while I was walking. There's the wonder of sunset at evening The wonder of sunrise I see But the wonder of wonders that thrills my soul Is the wonder that God loves me Oh, the wonder of it all, the wonder of it all, just to think that God loves me. Oh, the wonder of it all, the wonder of it all, just to think that God loves me. See if I can remember the second verse. There's the wonder of springtime and harvest. The stars, the sky, the sun. But the wonder of wonders that thrills my soul is the wonder that's only
wonder of it all. So thanks again. We are going to turn to Matthew 10 today. And it's another lengthy chapter. Mark, he, uh, he put his chapters plenty long, right? Like 50 verses or something. And so we're going to turn to the scriptures. Um, I'm in my King James paper Bible. I'm not legalistic about it. It was what I was raised with. It's what I prefer. But you can follow along in whatever you want. The only stipulation is, is that you allow the Holy Spirit to speak to you in regards to what he wants you to hear. I'm going to try not to preach or sermonize about it. Uh, I may give a comment here or there, but that's not really my intention. My intention is just to bring forth the pure, unadulterated word of God. And the Holy Spirit, who is the very author of it, is very capable, if you will open your heart, if I will open my heart, he's very capable to teach us. He's very capable and actually willing. He wants to teach us. He wants to take you and me from where we are up to where he is. In fact, I love that verse in Philippians where he says, he will take our vile bodies and make them like unto his glorious body. Isn't that wonderful? And so day by day, little by little, precept upon precept, as we allow him to, he will change us into his image. And there's no other way. There's just no other way. So we thank you, Lord, for that. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your Holy Spirit. We thank you for your word. And we just pray that today it would be exactly what we need, Lord. Make it um, profitable for our life this morning and today. Lord, make it tangible. Lord, make it something that we can grasp hold of through this road that you've chosen us to follow. In Jesus' name, amen. Mark 10, verse 1. And he arose from thence and cometh into the coasts of Judea by the farther side of Jordan. And the people resort unto him again, and, as he was wont, he taught them again. And the Pharisees came to him and asked him, it is, is it lawful for a man to put away his wife? Tempting him. And he answered and said unto them, What did Moses command you? And they said, Moses suffered a bill of, to write a bill of divorcement and to put her away. And Jesus answered and said unto them, For the hardness of your heart, he wrote you this precept. But from the beginning, the creation, God made them male and female. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife, and the twain shall be one flesh. So then they are no more twain, but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. And in the house his disciples asked him again of the same matter. And he said unto them, Whosoever shall put away his wife and marry another committeth adultery against her. And if a woman shall, be, shall put away her husband and be married to another, she committeth adultery. Verse 13. And they brought young children to him that he should touch them. And his disciples rebuked those that brought them. But when Jesus saw it, he was much displeased and said unto them, Suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, Whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, he shall not enter in. And he took them up in his arms, put his hands upon them, and blessed them. And when he was gone forth into the way, there came one running and kneeled to him and asked him, Good master, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? And Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is, God. Thou knowest the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not kill. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Defraud not. Honor thy father and mother. 
And he answered and said unto him, Master, all these have I observed from my youth. Then Jesus, beholding him, loved him and said unto him, One thing thou lackest, go thy way, sell whatsoever thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven. Come, take up thy cross and follow me. I just want to slip this in here. <laughs> I told you I wasn't going to preach, but you'll notice the song that we put up yesterday on Facebook, Take Up Thy Cross and Follow Me. And I had mentioned in the description that that was not a call to the unbeliever, but it was actually a call to the believer. And here he's talking to someone who kept the commandments from his youth up, but yet had just not truly picked up his cross and followed Jesus and I guess you'll see what happens. So that, that is the crux of the matter. That is what we need to follow Jesus. We need to work in what God has given us and give him our all. Come and take up the cross and follow me. And he was sad at that saying and went away grieved for he had great possessions. And Jesus looked round about and said unto his disciples, How hardly shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of God? And the disciples were astonished at his words. But Jesus answereth again and saith unto them, Children, how hard is it for them that trust in riches to enter into the kingdom of God? So he clarified a little bit. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. And they were astonished out of measure, saying among themselves, Who then can be saved? And Jesus, looking upon them, saith, With men it is impossible, but not with God. For with God all things are possible. <clears throat> Then Peter began to say unto him, Lo, we have left all, and have followed thee. And Jesus answered and said, Verily I say unto you, There is no man that hath left house, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my sake and the gospel. But he shall receive a hundredfold now in this time. Houses and brethren, and sisters, and mothers, and children, and lands, with persecutions, and in the world to come eternal life. But many that are first shall be last, and the last first. And they were, oh, verse 32. And they were in the way going up to Jerusalem, and Jesus went before them, and they were amazed. And as they followed, they were afraid. And he took them again, the twelve, and began to tell them what things should happen unto him saying, Behold, we go up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man shall be delivered unto the chief priests and unto the scribes, and they shall condemn him to death and shall deliver him to the Gentiles, and they shall mock him and shall scourge him and shall spit upon him and shall kill him, and the third day he shall rise again. Verse 35. And James and John, the sons of Zebedee, come unto him, saying, Master, we would that thou shouldest do for us whatsoever we desire. And he said unto them, What would ye that I should do for you? They said unto him, Grant unto us that we may sit, one on thy right hand, and the other on thy left hand, in thy glory. But Jesus said unto them, You know not what you ask. Can ye drink of the cup? that I drink of, and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? And they said unto him, We can. And Jesus said unto them, Ye shall indeed drink of the cup that I drink of, and with the baptism, baptism that I am baptized with, with all shall ye be baptized. <clears throat> but to sit on my right hand and on my left hand is not mine to give, but it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared." And when the ten heard it, they began to be much displeased with James and John. But Jesus called them to him and said unto them, Ye know 
that they which are accounted to rule over the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and their great ones exercise authority upon them. But so shall it not be among you, but whosoever will be great among you shall be your minister. And whosoever of you shall, will be the chiefest shall be servant of all. For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. Verse 46. And they came to Jericho, and as they went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the highway side begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And many charged him that he should hold his peace, but he cried the more a great deal, Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good cheer, rise, he calleth thee. And he, casting away his garment, rose and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What wilt thou that I should do unto thee? Interesting. The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I might receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. Oh, wonderful, wonderful Jesus. Thank you for all of you coming on here. Thank you for the comments. I will... I will see if I can look at them later. I want to remind you that I have not been commenting on the comments um, for all our videos. And so I hope no one is offended by that. It's just that we have decided not to take the time to do that. Um, things are getting busier here. And yeah. anyways, it, that's, that's what we have decided. If you are so inclined, I would encourage you to go to our YouTube channel and look at the videos there on Amundsen Family YouTube. And if you would, share them over to Facebook. Or, if you don't like going over to YouTube, you can always just get our videos, go to our, our Facebook page and share videos from there as well. That will help us. That will kind of ease the burden of us having to put on um, content every day or every other day because it is a big it's a big job yeah it may not seem that way but it actually is a big job so we'd appreciate your help in that regard and so we thank you for that we we are still recording content and we'll try to put that on but um if we didn't have to put it on so often that would be good too so thank you so much and again if you want to get in on the ground um of our vip page Go to AmundsenFamilyMusic.com, push on the blue VIP button, and for as little as $5 a month, it's not much, you can join us and get lots of inside information. Like the cookout we had last night, we cooked two big steaks over the fire last night, and I thought we would do that to celebrate and, and send Ira off, because he's going to Idaho for a couple weeks and we had a wonderful time and then our live stream. And so if you want to get in on stuff like that, yeah, sign up for our VIP page. We think you'd enjoy it. You also get videos that others are not seeing and videos that, um, that will in the future be put out. And so you'll get in on the ground up on a lot of those issues, things. All right. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me and Lord willing, We'll see you here tomorrow morning. Have a wonderful day.